Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Right now, we are going to read... We're going to do this Vintage Cube draft. But first, we're going to read another Michael B. fanfic <laughs> from Sliver Underlord. Oh, are you guys ready go. for this? Oh, boy. La, 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 la. Leaving my reading voice on. <laughs> okay. The gangplank swayed and creaked under the boy's worn boot soles as he picked his uncertain way up the weathered boards. Upon reaching the top... He breathed a briny air in great, nervous, in great nervous gulps, then heaved his ungainly adolescent body over the rail and onto the foredeck. Is foredeck a word? His voice cracked as he yelled, eyes closed. Permission to come aboard, sir. A few rough chuckles echoed around him, and then heavy footfalls approached. He opened his eyes to the sight of a muscular man standing before him, arms crossed, under an impressively bristly black beard. The sailor eyed him dubiously. You, re you realize it'd be customary to ask permission before coming aboard. Another gulp. Sorry, Captain. <laughs> I'm no cap'n, boy. The sailor gave a ferocious scowl and the boy took a step backward, bumping against the rail. I'm first mate, named Swole, and who might ye be? <laughs> yeah, yes, sir. I mean, Swole, sir. They call me Bobby Butters. <laughs> Oh, boy. Oh, good, good lord. We're doing it. Taut canvas sails snapped in the sea breeze as Swole nodded slowly. Aye, you must be the new cooking the captain's captain said would be coming round. Welcome aboard the stream. I'll show you around and fill your ear with your new duties. The first mate stomped toward a rickety ladder with Bobby Butters following behind. I think that's you, man. Swole gestured down into the bowels of the ship. You be serving two meals a day, except on chicken Sunday when there's three. <laughs> no man uh, no man gets more or less than that ye included did that be clear Bobby nodded vigorously hoping he could remember everything a member of the crew sauntered up with a characteristic rolling gait of the lifelong sailor bearing a mug in each hand the boy will be wanting some of the captain's finest swole don't you think a malicious gleam appeared in his first in the first mate's eyes ah that'd be right it's tradition have a mug of the captain's brew butters he ages her in a barrel hanging off the crow's nest so she gets as much sun as we can give her. Calls it Sunny Deed. <laughs> Why is this pirate themed? Oh, man. Bobby took the mug with no hesitation, wanting to make a good impression on these rough men. Oh, I was coming. He poured a huge <laughs> swallow into his mouth and fell to the deck, coughing. Careful now. <laughs> Shorted. Oh, boy. <coughs> Careful now, the first mate chortled. It'll burn your throat. <laughs> oh, Jesus. At these words, the entire crew began laughing uproariously as they resumed their various duties and the stream made ready to cast off. The sailors ignored Bobby good-naturedly as he lay on his back, tears streaming from his eyes and squinted into the bright blue sun. Bright, bright, bright blue sky. The sun is not blue. Some time later, once he had recovered, Bobby found himself at the bow, watching the waves part around the ship's chestnut curves. He reached into his shirt and pulled out an ancient tarnished locket, holding it in a clenched fist. I made it, he whispered to himself. I always said I'd do it and I did it. I know you're worried about me, but it'll all be different now. The boy opened the locket, looking at the two miniature childish drawings of sweet buttery biscuits revealed with... <laughs> Those are Bobby Biscuit's buttery biscuits, Michael. He smiled without noticing the tear running down his cheek, then closed the locket and tucked it away again. He pulled himself up onto the railing, holding onto the rigging for balance, and shouted into the spray. It is Wednesday, my <laughs> dudes! <laughs> oh, God. And that was a Michael B. fanfic called The High Seas Adventures of Captain Frank by Sliver Underlord. <sighs> Good lord. Oh, that was something. Sliver Underlord, I appreciate the effort you put into that, my dude. And I'm going to join this draft queue. One last tip. We got one last tip from Sammy himself. Oh, man, man of crypto. You going to stay for the draft? Yeah, I'll stay for the pick portion. The pick portion. All right, the stipulation is you must draft a multicolor card if able. If there are no multicolor cards, you can draft any card. Lands and power are exceptions. <coughs> and I believe anyone will agree Mana Crypt is power. All right. 
Fallen Shinobi is a gold card that I am very, very eager to take. And there's no power and no lands in this pack that really tempt me here. How do you feel about that? You want a Global Electromancer or Fallen Shinobi? Okay. What's oh, wrong with you? Goblin. Okay, so nothing here that I really care about. What about Sneak Attack? Probably not great because gold cards, right? Uh, True. true That's for true. true. Well, Worm Coil Engine. There are no gold cards in this pack, so you can take Chrome Mox is actually okay because of gold cards. Like, we're going to have a... That's pretty good fixing, actually. Yeah, we're, we're actually... take Reach. But you don't know your green yet. Yes. Yeah, I like Chrome Mox because we're going to have mostly gold cards, so I think this is actually fine. Yeah, I'll take a Chrome Mox. I think one of the things you got to learn in this in this format is that, like, if you can do broken shit faster than your opponent does broken shit, like... Yeah, Fast Man is really key in this format. Hey man, did you see this new Thanos? It's pretty good. Don't you already have a Thanos? Yeah, I'm gonna sell mine and get this one. Really? Yeah. Why do you like this one better? What? Look at all the detail on this. Here, I'll just show you the post I made. That's the old one. That's the new oh, one. Oh yeah, that's a bit more. It's detail. like insane. <clears throat> so this is the Thanos I have, the Thanos statue that I have, right? Oh, he's gone. And XM Studios came out with is coming out with a new one that you can pre order. And this is that one. Yeah, it's definitely so way like, more detail. Yeah, the detail is pretty nuts. I can zoom in. And the old one the old one's good, but it's definitely way more like it's a much it's it's less it's less it's simple it's it's sim it's a much simpler design right yeah uh hollowed fountain I guess there's no gold cards there's nothing I really care about in this pack no it's kind of weak pack I think I think taking fixing lands is pretty good it's definitely more minimalistic and I don't know if it's I don't think it's bad by any means I love the I love the original Thanos prismatic vista seems good here so is noble though. But we can't take Noble, though, because we have to... There's a, there's a gold card. Oh, sure. So I gotta take a land or gold card. I think this step's actually gonna be pretty easy, because I don't think there's as many gold cards in this in this step. Sphinx is gold, but lands are... Uh, lands and, and power are the, the exceptions, so... Noble is fixing, kind of, but it's not... This one, this one is not fixing its lands. Yeah, Kerbert wrote the other fanfics, and this one recently was by uh, Sliver Underlord. <coughs> so, can you be quiet, please? We're trying no. to draft, Michael. You're being very rude. Aren't I always? What time are you getting them donuts tomorrow? As soon as they open. Oh wow! Are you gonna order them online and then go pick them up? They deliver, bro. Oh really? You're gonna have yeah. them delivered? Yeah, why not? Well, I don't know. It's not that far. I just figured you'd save on the delivery fees. No, I was paying for it, so. Oh, well then. Well then, fuck it. Get her to spend all that bitch's money. <laughs> like, I'm going to take Creeping Tar because it's the only card that matches our current our current creature. We're going to go through this first pack. We're going to have five, five fixing cards and one creature. <clears throat> am I the only one who feels like more people are playing combo decks? This Yes. No, I mean, no, you're not the only one that feels that way. I mean, combo decks are generally the best. Shut up and draft. take my money. What's this about donuts? Michael B. tomorrow is getting some donuts for his birthday. Birthday donuts. I don't I know why he doesn't get them every day. I figured I'd give this guy some. Yeah, Mike's like, my mom's going to give me like a dozen donuts. And I figured if you wanted a couple, you can have, I was like, okay, cool. What kind of donuts? Whatever kind he wants. Um, Lots of maple bars. <laughs> it's it's going to be like 10 maple bars and two of whatever I want. No, it's actually going to be half maple bars, half the other stuff. Oh, God, you have such a problem, man. Maple bars are so good. Maple bars are life. It is true. I am a fool born on April 1st. Born. Uh, this is a gold card. Yes, my actual, my real birthday, despite my birthday every day, it was April 1st. That was when I was actually born. I'm taking the land over progenitus here. 
<laughs> really? Hmm. Um, I don't like Knight of the Reliquary. You can take a land. Yeah, we're just going to take Lava Claw Reaches, I guess. I like Lava Claw better than I like Blooming Marsh, so. <clears throat> this is basically a situation where, like, if there's a card that I like, if there's if there's a, if there's a gold card I don't like and it's the only one in the pack, I'm just going to probably take a land because it's probably going to make our deck better than a random Uh Tomorrow's on April 1st. Our time in Utah, it's still pre-midnight, so it's April 1st. Dude, he pulls this bullshit every year. Every April 1st, his joke is like, it's my birthday. Kurt, Mike B., you want a cake? I think I'm good, Kurt, but I appreciate the offer. How are you going to turn down a free cake? I'm not really that big on cake. What are you big on? Because I'm sure Kurt will substitute whatever you're big on. He's like, I'm big on fucking maple bars. <laughs> what if it's a maple bar cake? <laughs> wow. Did you see this Humble Bundle that went up? Yes. Like with all of these games. Yeah, it's pretty nuts. And like all of these like books and graphic novels yeah, for like crazy. 30 bucks. Yeah. Um. What do I like? I like cake. Or sorry, not cake. <laughs> <laughs> is that I like, right? I like pie. Huh. Oh, pie is good. What if it was a cake made of nuggets? Yeah, like Mark said. <laughs> with a barbecue sauce in there. Uh, Chris, I am not a humble partner. Do I have to be to get it? I guess it's just... I don't even know what to take here. None of these cards are super... I'm going to take Goblin Dark Dwellers. Just got to think the upside is highest. Could just be Grixis. Take Electromancer. I mean, we have to take Electromancer, which is totally fine. Chris, obviously I saw the humble offer from your from your Facebook, so... Also, in general, besides donuts, like, I'm not really that into sweet. He's donuts. not a sweet guy, yeah. You love blizzards, man. You love... Blizzards are pretty good. You love uh, concrete mixers from Culver's. Ice cream's different. It hits different. Ice cream and donuts are different, but he's not a sweets guy. <laughs> I don't know, man. Curl, just give me a two for three nug deal. We'd be good. Just give me 12 nugs. Call it a day. Okay. I don't think we're green. I think we're four color non-green. Oh, I don't share my affiliate link. What does that mean? I don't even know what that means. <clears throat> what if we play Wildfire? <laughs> All of our creatures die. I don't wildfire. Play wildfire. I hate you. <laughs> Gotti. Who did you get? Uh. Really? I don't want to. We're not green, right? So, like. Are you not? What do you think? We don't have a single green fixing land. You don't? What about Primitive Vista? Oh, Time Walk. We be time walking. I'm like Mike B because I don't like ice cream instead I don't like cheesecake. Cheesecake is decent. The weird thing about cheesecake is like I hate subpar cheesecake. I also don't like plain cheesecake. I like cheese plain cheesecake if it's really high quality. I think the I think the flavor of plain cheesecake is actually just I mean like quite literally a little too plain. Time's a wasting. All right, so what are we taking here? Goblin Dark Roll is a time walk is very very good. I'm glad we took that. Splinter Twin is an option because we could definitely get some dudes. Let me get some nudes. I mean, we already have Hollowed Fountain, Seachrome, and Shambling Vent to fix for white cards if we want to play white cards. Um, I think it's just Splinter Twin. I think the My highest favorite dessert is, is Tiramisu. That's a good one. Tiramisu is very good, yeah. I, I, I can get behind a Tiramisu. That's like a fancy dessert, though. <clears throat> Aren't they all, man? Aren't they all? Not all of them. Yeah, but, ice cream ain't really but all of them are, you know what I mean? No. I understand. <sighs> Uh, there was there a gold card in the last pack that I just totally missed it? No, right? No, there wasn't. Colgon's command seems very good. I'm very okay with taking a Colgon's command. Ideally, this pre ordering comes back, but it's basically like a mini ancestral recall, so probably not. You know. What are you doing, man? You checking for your mom's messages? No, I was just checking my phone. What are you checking it for? To see if I had any messages. Who's gonna message you, man? People on the internet. You think your dad's gonna be like, "Hey, Michael, happy birthday, son"? Yeah, you never know. No, nah, that dude's a shitbag. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I know, man. He randomly messaged me on my one birthday. That was weird. That's just because he literally wanted something. He didn't really ask me for anything. He wanted your love and affection, Michael. Well, if he would give it back, maybe I would. Said he was a real piece of shit. Let's kill him. Mike, I'll door dash you something for lunch tomorrow for your birthday. What would you like? 
and win. I'll text Jake for the address. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, That's man. That's crazy. Man, Dennis with the with the lunch, with the birthday lunch, my dude. Oh, we got to take Edric. I could, I don't even want a stirring Wildwood, to be honest. That's brutal. But not, this pack isn't that great, though, so I'm not, like, super. Oh, Rakdos is return. Oh, what are you in Marsh Flats, though? You know what that is? That's, uh, I don't know. What are we taking here? Do we take a land or do we just take the Rakdos return? He playables. Did you fart? Nope. Shoot your pants? Uh, how about something Spanish? Give me like a burrito. Spanish? Yeah. What's a Spanish burrito? <laughs> <laughs> I guess Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> you speak Spanish, but they don't. Yeah. Get me something Spanish. Mike uh, B, you want me to send you a carton of cigs? You can use them to lure your dad back. Wow. <laughs> Tempting. You know, the funny thing is, Kurt would do that. I think it's Karn here, actually. Well, I have no doubt Kurt would send me a cigarette carton for for a meme. That would, that's right up his alley. Scrubland. Scrubby boy. Actually, Fire Ice is pretty good for a, for a split card. I'll take Fire Ice. Put this Edric over here. This is actually not a bad Grixis deck for the gold card stipulation. Stipulation. Send him to the Paella Burrito. <laughs> Oh, as far as uh, oh, you also asked for a time. Uh, like, probably like any time after eleven a.m. Man, so many people are gonna send you free food. <laughs> Dennis, I could also give you the address too if you just message me. I got my nephew a gun rack for Christmas. That's a solid meme. Uh, Angrass Rampage is okay. Let's Does think. he have any guns? I don't even own a gun, let alone many guns, to necessitate a rack. What's you that from? You don't know? Not off the top of my head, no. I mean, I know it. It's in my brain somewhere. Wayne's World? Yes. I like that you, I like that you like, confirmed it. Yes. I like that all of our fixing lands are white, <coughs> but all of our all of our splash cards, cards are green. I want to take Lumbering Falls. I mean, we're not playing this, but, like, we might be able to play the green cards because of Lumbering Falls, so. <coughs> oh, nothing here. Interesting. Is it walking mm, bliss? And I'm in the highlight. I normally don't eat lunch. Except sometimes cereal, maybe. Because I'm back in the high life again. <laughs> I kind of like Sun Titan here, I'll be honest. You like that card way too much. Oh my god. Somebody just, just make him stop. It never gets enough things to be good. You know what, Michael? All you need is one. <laughs> what if I put a splinter one on Sun Titan, bro? So. I have a fetch land. I don't have. I have oh, prismatic I vista. Oh, he's back in the Michael B's again. Sunny D also burns your throat. It's true. Dang it, Mirari's <laughs> Wake. Boy, this deck's getting weird, man. I don't really have a theme. It's just random piles of stuff. There's That's correct, yes. Oh, this guy's actually not terrible with the amount of red cards we have in here, I guess. Doretti's actually decent because we can discard all of our all of our shit cards. Burrito. Okay, for burritos in town, we have Cafe Cafe Rio, Cafe Sabor, Sweet Burrito, Costa Vida, Paco's Mexican Food, my favorite, El Sol, Los Primos, and Monday's Latin Grill. Oh, man, that is a lot. Oh, troops. So how about we go with... Paco's Mexican food because it's your favorite, so I'll take your recommendation. As far as the protein, uh, some kind of steak. You can tell Mike watched a lot of Food Network because he keeps calling it the or protein. Or if, like, if there's like a burrito that you like, like a certain way, like you can just probably give me that and it'll be fine. Oh, scalding tarn. The only thing I'm not big on is uh, queso. What? Yeah, I'm just not big on melty cheese things. Such an embarrassment. <laughs> I can't believe if you were my son, I would leave too. 
I'd be gone. I'd peace out. So right there we could have taken Nahiri or Kaya. But I think Scalding Tarn for this deck is significantly better. We're kind of just... Are we just mono? Are we just Grixis splashing Sun Titan? <laughs> That's pretty wild. Badlands. Over Bloodbraid Elf? Probably. <coughs> Got him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, we don't even need Hollow Founder, Sea Chrome Coast, or Shambling Vent if we don't end up playing the white card. But with Prismatic Vista, Shambling Vent, Sea Chrome, and Hollowed Fountain, it's almost like. It's almost like a freebie. Veraski. Does Veraska do anything in this deck? I don't think so. I mean, it's never that bad to sack a land sometimes. It's true. Goblin Shrine, another white land. <laughs> Over Lightning Helix, which is like... I don't think you need any more white lands, though, right? Um, I don't know. Sometimes is the poncho steak bacon cheese potatoes and sour cream how you feel about that sounds delicious I'm all into that those are all flavors I'm good with <laughs> it's rider oh wait step dang it all right we'll take the there's gonna be a weird deck man it's not looking it's not looking great so far, but what can you Wildfire do? Wildfire seems real out of place in your multicolor deck. Yeah, I'm in sack four of my lands, unable to count and cast. I'll anything. never cast anything ever again. But that's the life I've chosen. Also, it kills like all your creatures. <laughs> that is the point. Yeah, uh, Tristani or Dragon Lord. One is green. One is green white. I would like to take this Golos. Golos counts, right? No, because it's lands, not fixing. I'll take Dragon Lord's hard. Wait, though. what? What? Golos has five colors of mana on him. Doesn't he count? As a gold? I don't know. It's not commander. It's not a gold card. I think it counts. Well, it's too late now, isn't it? Are the potatoes oh. in that burrito circumcised? <laughs> hey, Chief. Also, Golos might wheel. People don't respect him. No, people like Golos. I've seen him go late before. How many times have you seen Oh, what up, little, little biscuit? You're kind of a big biscuit. Hi, Chief. What are you doing? There's a hunter down you here. You coming up here? Yeah. Where are you going? Going under the desk? Okay. Sliver Underlord, have a good night, man. I'm glad I read your fanfic tonight. Okay, see you later. It was short and sweet. It was. Kurt writes them and they're like seven pages long. <laughs> hey, Kurt's is like a novel. Yeah, Kurt writes like his fucking dis his doctoral dissertation in fanfic form. Watch where you're going, man. Why don't you? Another white fixing land. Hmm. I think it's just Leovold here. <laughs> I actually like Leovold. I got another in the pipe? You're writing more fanfics? Oh my oh, yeah. god. Oh yeah, he was... He's Yeah, I told you about that, didn't I? Well, I knew there was one he had. I didn't know there was one he was making another. Sliver Underlord, have a good night, buddy. I'll be back in the high again. I wrote a real doctorate dissertation. Don't want to write another. That's fair. Me neither. See you later. I'm watching season two of Happy, and it's great. Maybe not as good as season one, but still good. Oh, Doretti is a nice pickup here. He also likes the spaghetti. I don't even know what happy is. Yeah, me neither. Wasn't <laughs> even that one show we started watching about like the afterlife? Oh, the good place. Yeah, that's okay. I was just making yeah, sure that was all right. the same show. I actually like we got Doretti uh and Leovold now for Sun Titan. That's pretty cool. Actually I think we just moved is the reason why we stopped watching it. <laughs> we yeah. just kinda of forgot about it. Steve Winwood? Yeah, man, it was stuck in my head. What do you want from me? Somebody touch my Durette. That's true. That's correct. Somebody touch my spaghetti. What's happy about? Sell it to me. Oh, that isn't the correct stipulation, guys. I'm sorry. I didn't update it. I thought I did. I could have sworn I did. Oh, 
Oh man, I got heartburn from the sauce. You got heartburn? Yeah. What sauce? The tomato sauce. Oh, from your gravy? Yeah. Oh boy, I'll take ultimate price here. <coughs> <coughs> nice and simple. Shut happy up and on take Netflix. My money. Oh, happy B Mike birthday. Happy B Mike B. <laughs> Nice. From Sneaky LeBeak. Happy on Netflix. Krista Maloney is a drunk ex-cop in an animated flying the unicorn voiced by Patton Oswalt. Interesting. Well, that's interesting. That is interesting. I actually don't mind Savannah here because we can... Uh, it, it helps with the white splash and the green splash, I guess. Also, you obviously take it over Consecrated Sphinx. <laughs> no, it was Sphinx's Revelation. Oh. Yeah, I would never take it. I don't think even Rob would take it over Consecrated Sphinx. Although the alternative is Nahiri, which is also pretty nice. It gets your fat daddy. Yeah. Your dragon lord. It sure does. Also, it's like removal, so. Goblin Scrabble Master. I mean, we can actually take the... <laughs> Taking the white out is weird because, like, we have so much white fixing, but it's a double white card, so maybe it's just not even worth it. It does not seem worth it. Although we could play Lingering Souls instead. There's only one white, though. Right, that's what I mean. I don't think Ravel Master is as good. Yeah, that's fine. No, Oblivion Ring is also good. Shut up and take my All the gold money. cards are gone. Oh, damn it, Kerbal. I can't read that. Wait, wait why? Oh, is it, it's in Japanese. Say it right. Say what right? There's a murder in Savannah. Oh, now we can get this murder Rider anyway? That's pretty cool. Here's a Tristani for the side, Bizzle. A Tristani. Also, Isn't your Sun Titan got better because of O-Ring. Isn't that your favorite kind of pizza? Yeah. Tristani? Oh, that's a gold card. That's the two colors we're not really, though. Splinter Twin seems pretty bad in here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's going to be correct. And... Got one Electromancer, maybe? Yeah, I don't think it does what much is that? It does. It does good for these two. <laughs> that's about it. Uh, it does good for these two. <laughs> Let me just count them. Let me again. just do it again. That kind of. This guy. Maybe that. Nope. And these two. It's not bad, but it's not great. No, I'd probably cut it. It also is good with this guy, don't forget. I guess he's cutting Steamkin. Maybe. Steamkin does ramp us at a certain point. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know how reliable that is, but. Yeah, I always find that I'm wishing Time Walk only cost blue. <laughs> yeah, same. I'm always like, oh, this is so frustrating. I got to play this Time Walk. Only for, it only cost one blue. For, for two mana. <clears throat> what is the deal? <clears throat> I remember Drafts, are you playing tonight? Uh, we're actually just going to keep going until it stops. Yeah, Mike said he wasn't going to. He's just going to not get sleep tonight, which is fine for him. I kind of like Duretti less than That's I like. That's not true. It's, don't let them lie to you guys. Like, we don't have a single artifact in our deck, so. Yeah, Duretti seems bad. It's I mean, just a draw engine. Yeah, it's literally just a draw, too, but, like. I do like Fallen Shinobi. Bounce a Nighthawk. I would never cut Fallen A Lingering Shinobi. Souls. You have to be insane to cut Oh, yeah, for sure. I was, like I was just saying card. it was. Okay, take it easy, man. It's your best card! Don't cut it! I wasn't going to, man. Our man is going to be a little rough here, but. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, big tip. Like, you have a lot of lands, but I don't know how good it even is. You're probably going to have to break out the chart here, my dude. I don't think I need to. I think I'll be all right. I think we just had five of everything. I got five on it. 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I actually probably want one extra land here. We definitely want uh, one of each land because we have Prismatic Vista. Definitely two black. Probably two red as well. Yeah, you have a lot of red. Yeah, and we don't have a ton of red. <clears throat> so let's go there and there. And we'll go 41. Done. <laughs> <coughs> well, it's only seven, it's 16 lands, but it's also Chrome Box Mana Crypt. So it's 18 mana sources with 16 lands. This deck is wild. I would be surprised if we won a game. Oh, dang. It's already 1130. Sorry, man. That's usually when I try to go to bed. I know. But tonight, tonight it's Michael B's night. Look, it's going to cost one mana, guys. Keep. 
Also, we have all of our colors if we go get a green source with our Prismatic Vista, which is pretty sweet. I think Chrome Mox is great in our deck, for sure. <gasps> if we get that green, that's a turn... Turn three? That's the turn when you can play it. I hate you. I guess you could time walk to play it early. Right, that's what I was thinking. I was like... Is that worth it, though? No, not really. Not not with, like, Vraska in hand. You think you just save time walk when it wins you the game? Or when you're just getting a lot of Planeswalker value. All right, stream. Lightning Helix. I want to kill it. That's... that's All not... right, stream. I'm calling it quits. What does that mean? It means I want to go upstairs and go to bed. Unbelievable. And by that, I mean go upstairs and watch a little more of the stream then go to bed. Wow. It's been a fun cube season. I'm pretty sure. I guess the cube, the cube, modern cube will be tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, it's still more cubes tomorrow, man. I'm pretty sure Mike's been farting this whole time, so. I have not farted once since I've been down here. It's really too much. God. It's just, right. it's just mono zippity farts. Zippity-doo-dah, zippity-day. What? Oh, good. Let me repeat it. It's zippity doo okay. zippity-day. It's okay. No, you can't beat that card. It's over. Yeah, no. I know. Now they can actually turn early of old into just a generic 33. Oh, wait. Vraska just kills it, right? Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, they actually did turn our Electromancer into a 3-3. That's pretty sweet. Oh, wow. Joke's on you. That's way better than... Uh... That was an upgrade. Yeah, that's an up. That's an upgrade. Let me know if I got it right. Got what right? Oh. um, Yes, but can you pull that chair out? Like, away? Uh, Just so that the back is... Yeah, you can just lift the curtain over the chair. The little man took your spot. Yeah, that's perfect. Yep. Oh, no. Fix that right side now. I'm sorry. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, you pulled it over. Oh, wait. I forgot my cup. Yeah, grab your cup, too. God. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> okay, that's good. All right, how about now? Uh, I'll just pull it a little more. It's got to oh be... Oh, my God. It's got to cover the, the edge of that... Yeah, there you go. There you go. How about now? No, you just let it fall. <laughs> it's not... It doesn't go between. It just has to rest on that... Not... Yeah, like that. That? Yep, there you go. Okay. You did it. Jeez, that's good gosh. enough. It's good enough. We did it. I'm sorry, guys. How is this? This time walk art is fantastic. I mean, the art's not bad. You could, li Chris, you could like the Amy Weber art, but you can't. You can't argue that this is bad. Um. So I'm tempted to go like. Do I just attack the Oko? And then play Leovold, but then they make Leovold a guy too. I guess we draw another card from that. Hmm. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna attack Oko. And then we're going to time walk, because I feel like they're going to block next turn, which lets us get rid of Incubation Druid 2. Oh, they're just going to block immediately. Oh yeah, we're time walking for sure. Let's get a Foresto. And... Actually, we can... Now we can fire this but I think it's just better to get Planeswalker on the board right yeah let's do that <clears throat> yeah that seems great cause you'll be back in the high life again got that Steve Winwood boy also Goblin Dark Dwarf is getting back time walk Sure. Can we sack our opponent's permanence? Is that how Magic the Gathering works? I don't think so, but... Who knows, you know? Mana Crypt? Well, we don't have double black or double red at this particular juncture. So I guess we just play... Leovaldo. Let's plus you and sacrifice nothing. Just gonna pass here. Yeah, four four with menace for five that just takes you an extra turn. Not the worst. What is this gonna be? Polychronos? 
Bloodbraid Elf. <clears throat> Let's see what's happening. Spin that wheel. Crack that whip. Beast within. Well, so long, Leovaldo. Oh, Vraska. Oh, wow. For sure. Ooh, Lingering Souls is good, too. Jeez. Lingering Souls would have been better with the Vraska so that we can actually sack the tokens and feel good about our life choices, but... I feel like we're actually doing okay here, to be quite honest with you. Alright, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, we don't have enough for all three of them. I think it's actually better to fire this guy... I mean, I was I wanted to like put one damage on this, but then we're just trading a guy, and we're like right now we're not trading a guy. It's it's preventing three damage both ways, so. Yep. <coughs> mm, two of those guys. Renin six. Okay. You have no lands to get back. Do you pick off a spirit and let me draw a card? Wow. That's really good for us. It's like sacrificing. It's basically Vraska, right? Sack a, sack a card. Draw a card. Sure. Tails never fails. That's what we're doing. We're doing it. Tails never failed. Nahiri, huh? I mean, there's no real point to even attacking with Leovold here. I wish I had some waffles. Can't you get some waffles, my dude? Double black, double black, double red. And this is why red and black were the two cards that we added double sources for. Actually, there's literally no incentive to not use this. One, two. Uh, we didn't attack with the spirit because it's late and I just literally forgot. I'll discard a Vampire Nighthawk. That's perfect. <coughs> oh, Rammy Nap Excavator. Again, no lands in your graveyard. Not ideal. Where's our chat? Pull this chat out. Where's the game log? Pull the game log out. Tails never fails. Tails never fails, guys. Red source? Duretti. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I bet we could probably ditch Dark Petition, right? Because if we get a red source, we can go Dark Dwellers, Time Walk, Discard, or uh, Negative Nahiri. Oh, Rakdos's return. Let's do that. One, two. Uh, red and black. And three. We're not going to play anything else, right? So we'll play around days and do it for five. This is where they're like, I'm just going to concede so you don't see my secret, my secret. Oh, there's the red. Dang it. 
Yeah, we could have went red, Dark Dwellers, Time Walk, Ultimate Nahiri, get Dragon Lord of Tarka, deal three, one, and one, and then just attack with everything. The best creature we can get is probably uh, Dragon Lord of Tarka. 100% is, actually. We only have nine creatures in our deck. Um, this lets us tap something or ultimate price, and it also gives us both colors for this. So if we can hit a red or a white, it's actually pretty decent. The other best creature is Dark Dwellers with a time walk in the yard. Kerwit, have a good night, buddy. Thank you so much for our, for everything, dude. You are awesome. <clears throat> Oh. oh, I don't need the green just yet. So we're going to leave it with this so we can play Steamkin on too. Or we can play Fire Ice on too, depending on what they do. I can play this on three, still keep up the other option, which is pretty good. Wow, okay. Oh, they're not going to... Okay. Interesting. <clears throat> oh, there's another red, which is super nice right now. Yeah, I think we're just going to play Steamkin here. We'll give them one turn of Incubation Druid, but... Oh, we could get Fallen Shinobi, that's true. But <clears throat> then they just block it, unfortunately. So this is where all the YouTube videos come from. <laughs> you see all this? Y'all see this stuff live? Very nice. Wow, what's going on, fancy lad? Okay, okay. Oh yeah, oh this is this is not happening at all, my dude. That guy is going in the trash can. No sir, don't you even try to wasteland me forever. So they can't blood braid elf unless they hit a red land. Okay, no blood braid elf. Okay, that's pretty good. Well, we do need a second black source now that Lava Claw reaches is out of commission. I guess we can... No, we can't do anything. I guess we could actually fire ice and then block. Nope, we can't block with this guy. Yeah. Yeah, that guy's pretty problematic, unfortunately. If we can just draw a black source that comes into play tapped... Untapped, rather. I don't want to say tapped. I think we'd be okay, but... Otherwise, like, it's pretty... We can tap it down for a turn, too, I guess. Can't kill it with Vraska. Um, can't block it with Lingering Souls tokens. Nope. Don't like that. <clears throat> well, hmm. Also, any land lets us play Dark Dwellers into Ultimate Price, which is also fine. Well, not any land, I guess. Creeping Tarpit doesn't do that, but we're definitely going to tap this dude down right now. Oh, we're going to open this so we can see what they hit off Blood Braid off. And oh, not a blood braid elf. Primal command. Fascinating. Uh. 
Oh, biscuits. Well, that sets us back pretty far, unfortunately. What creature card are you going to find? Uh, Vraska can't kill it because she destroys permanents with cost four, three or less, not four. She doesn't just destroy any permanent, Mark. That would be pretty nuts. Alright, <clears throat> we're definitely going to play Shambling Event here. Because that's more important to get this Chupacabra online. Thunder Maw Hellkite, huh? Yikes. Four, yeah, that's just going to, we're going to take nine here. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Alright, let's try that. This is rough because we they have Wasteland Ramunap Excavator. I think that's pretty unfortunate. <coughs> I kind of like Kitchen Finks. It should be easy to cast with one white and one green. It also does block Questing Beast, which is not terrible. Oh, good. God, I fucking... Oh, my God. I'm so annoyed at this stupid zooming feature. Um, Let's take out Electromancer for... Actually, I don't want to take out a creature. Let's take out Dark Petition. It seems a little slow against them. I will play first. Yeah, we can keep this. I mean, for a Grixis deck, this hand seems actually pretty decent. We have a Badlands to search up if we want to. Exhausting. Absolutely fucking exhausting. Cool. And I think we still get Badlands here, just based on our, our hand. Turns on every card, except for Angrath's Rampage. I have three cards that could make this guy a 4-4, four, four, so... Every game with that thing. Definitely killing it this time. <clears throat> you want to wasteland me, brah? I'll get a seven drop. Actually, if we can get three red on this guy, it's actually... Karn is not that much out of the question. Like, if we go Electromancer, Angrass, Rampage, Karn with four lands, I mean, turn three, play a land, Angrass, turn four, Electromancer. Like. Of course, that does require us hitting lands. Sure. <clears throat> it doesn't really do anything for us. I, I mean, I probably would. I probably would have personally hit a land there, but yep. Let's see, questing beast or bloodbraid elf. Green sun zenith for three. Interesting. Ramunap Excavator. Okay, again, we're going to kill that. Oh, God, we hope we can hit a land. Please hit a, a red or a black source. Pff, that'll do. Sorry, I don't really want you to wasteland me every single turn. Home from work and a stream. Also got some new shoes, not as sweet as yours, but I'm still excited. 
How's the 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 Kybe been treating you? Uh, this is only our second draft. First draft we went one two, but it was a stipulation. This is also a stipulation. Yep, that's pretty good. How about another land? Seems good. Sack an artifact. Get in there for another five. I mean, if they play two cards <clears throat> and we draw a land, we can Rakdos's for three, which should be their hand. <coughs> oh, I'm tired and hungry. Zimmy Pod, get some food, buddy. Here comes Blood Braid Elf. Vivian. This is not a great Vivian when you have nothing on board. Oh, biscuits. That's pretty decent, actually. That turns on most of our hand. Um, can we kill them this turn? We can just kill them, right? Let's make sure we're attacking both at face. Attach for five. Man, oh man. I mean, we're going to do this for four. Actually, we're going to play around days. Might as well just do it for three, right? No. Keep up the blue. There we go. Black. Red. One, two. Done. Yeah, I don't really want to get wrecked to days, so. 1-0 with this multicolor monstrosity, guys. <coughs> can't can't get any better than that. I will play first. Chrome Mox. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. <clears throat> I mean, this hand is about as good as we're going to ask for with a Chrome Mox in it, so. Uh, Steamy Boy in there. What's Who's Steamy Boy? Steamkin? Um, we have a ton of red spells. I think red is probably our highest um, concentration of... we do anything here that we care about not really so but dang it bobby that's how i feel about that <laughs> jokes on him wasteland's a much more expensive card than lumbering falls that's true Close your eyes and I'll give you Tomorrow I'll miss you It's weird that you played a mox that turn That's like me playing this mox right now I'm kind of tempted to get rid of their mox, but... I think we're actually just going to pass and see what happens. <clears throat> I'll pretend that you're drawing some cards with your toppy. None of these are 
This is not a very good uh, rendition of All My Lovin' by the Beatles. And then, oh, Verdant Catacombs, huh? Fascinating. Oh, sack it. Sack it and crack it. So they're just topping forever. <clears throat> Top tech crypt and return them for four. Yeah, I'm down with that. Yeah, boy. Goblin smelter. Dragon Lord Asmarka. <clears throat> Probably just oblivion ring this guy, right? This guy seems like shenanigans. You also just put a Tarka under the chrome mox. Taps for a red or green. I'd rather keep Rakdos return in hand because it's just... I think it's just good. I think Dragon Lord Tark is probably worse than Rakdos to return here. But also turns on both of these, which is nice. Does not turn on Choops, but I think that's actually fine. Yeah, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to Helix this because I think Oblivion Ring is better saved for cards that... Uh, Oh, I am so, I am smelling. What? It doesn't make any sense. Oh, good. Well, I guess we're dead. Ah. <sighs> Must be nice. Fun game. You are really unlucky. Buddy. Okay. This hand seems decent. Dece. We can go this, into this, into this. Alright. And then we just hope we don't die, right? Uh, I'm not going to play turn one Steamkin. I don't think it's worth getting rid of Goblin Dark Dwellers for turn one Steamkin.
think it's actually tar pit. It, I guess this blitz us by. I mean, we have double black either way. We can't activate this. Yeah, this is fine. This also lets us activate Shambling Vent, which is okay. I'm pretty sure Zimini, res Zimini Pond is responding to Super Star Machine and not saying my concede was quick. I think you guys are all just missing missing that in chat. I didn't concede. I literally just died, so... <clears throat> okay, they're not doing anything. But that's always how it goes before they blight steal Colossus your whole life. It's midnight. My bad. My bad. Thankfully, we actually only have one basic land, so they have to kill two of their lands and one of ours. And we can actually choops this guy and we lose one swamp for their two more lands? Oh, jeez. This is pretty okay. Oh, no, we should have played Hollowed Fountain. Well, I guess they killed that and those two, yeah. We should have played Hollowed Fountain. Oh well. We lose one, they lose one. Yeah, we should have played Holophon, then they have to lose two. That was pretty rough. We have no red sources, unfortunately. This guy might just be, be going under the chrome mox now. Yeah, we'd lose the fountain, but they would lose Forest Swamp. Instead, we lost Swamp, and they lost Forest. It would still be... I, I'd rather them lose two. Oh, you're... I mean, I'd rather them lose two and us lose one than the other way around. Um, I think we're just tagging with Tar Pit here. I mean, this is like lethal on board next turn, so... Yeah, because if we're losing one land, I'd rather them take away their lands, too. Are we? Are you seriously just going to fucking blight steal us again? <sighs> fucking incredible. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Please go buy a lottery ticket. Kills three of their own lands with their, or two, two or three, two, two of their own lands with their Sundering Titan. Still have sneak attack, double red, Mox, Blight Steel. Okay. The funny thing is, if we just played Lingering Souls there, which we had no real reason to do, 
because I wasn't anticipating Mox sneak attack blight steel again. Um, if we just played if we just played lingering souls there, we could have blocked for two and then uh, maybe won the next turn. I don't know. Nope, that's not gonna do. <sighs> Literal same hand. Cool. Eighteen mana sources. Draw one per hand. Always a pleasure, Magic Online. Cool. Let's go to four cards, guys. Sweet. Which 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 four do we keep? One, two. Can't cast Oblivion Ring or Lightning Helix. You know what? I'll just keep all the lands. <clears throat> Jesus. Oh, cool. I mean, they already know our deck, though, so that's weird. I'm actually tempted to, to kill this guy. <laughs> Just sack mana crypt. Make a construct guy. Oh, this guy gets 1-1 one, one for each artifact you control. Oh, that's not true. Ever-flowing chalice, huh? Creeping tar pit. Well, this is not ideal, guys. Kind of just want to kill the overflowing chalice, but I don't even think that's great. <clears throat> I mean, it is what it is. Emrakul off the top. Okay. What are the odds they have through the breach in hand? Probably 100%, right? Yep. Seems good. Sneak attack on a mox, obviously. They don't even need the mox. I got the bird of paradise, my dude. Oh, there's a mox. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Well, we mulled to four this game, so I guess I don't know what to expect. I kind of just want to see them draw the Emrakul so they can kill us with it. Yep. <sighs> oh man good times good times If we can hit a blue source, this hand's actually not bad. It has to be an untapped blue source, unfortunately. Sea Chrome Coast in the next turn would be nice. Next two turns would be good. Hmm, shambling vent. 
<sighs> so the last two games we got the last three games we've got sneak attacked sneak attacked through the breached not even close to casting that How ready are you for Modern Cube? I mean, surprisingly, this go around of the Vintage Cube, I'm quite ready for it. <clears throat> I w I'm looking forward to some mid-range games. Well, okay. Eight man, only eight man on board, so that's okay. You're just leveling up here. Sure. All right, that's not bad. I mean, you just have to survive a turn, I guess. Probably not going to happen. But, you know. We'll see, I guess. We'll see. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on patreon.com slash franklapore. It's a great way to spend one or two dollars a month to support the channel. One or two dollars a month, guys. It's basically nothing. And, uh... You can also check out manatraders.com. They have an awesome subscription service that you can utilize. It's what I use myself. And with the promo code and link in the description, you get 20% off your first three months, which is a great deal. Oh, there's definitely a subscribe button on Recif, on, on, on Twitch, Recif. Two lands in the sneak attack and through the breach Emerald deck. That's a good, that's a good hit. That's a good a hit. <coughs> I guess we'll just pass. <laughs> Fucking oh, biscuits. Yeah, okay. I mean, unfortunately, we just need a removal spell for this guy. One time, Vraska's a removal spell for that guy. But I'm probably just going to kill the tree speaker. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three. We can actually do both things, right? We only have one forest. Dang it. We're probably going to get a red source. We cannot. We only have one forest in the deck. Yeah, it's fine. That is their forest. Oh my god, you're right. Mistakes were made. And they have to just block, right? Like, there's no way you don't block this. Okay. Oh, man, I should have tapped differently then. Biscuits O'Reilly. That's what they used to call me back in the day. Old Biscuits O'Reilly. See that mistake Biscuits O'Reilly made? They still have 11 mana, so it's not like they're... It's not like they're hurting. Okay, 9 mana. Okay, search on top. Seems okay. Oh, 
Oh, a murderous rider, eh? Okay. Well, no more talking. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Attack Garrick and your face. Oh, they're going to double lock big murds. Oh, shit, big murds. Oh, and we get to kill the big bird. One, two, three. Big murds. One, two, three. Uh, sack our forest. Nahiri seems okay. All right, we know, we know the draw search, and they didn't have anything exciting before that, so. So they're probably going to search, right? Okay. I mean, they had a million land last turn. Why didn't they? Okay, so they're just going to get their Garrick back. They're going to get Corsair of Crew Fix back. Okay. <laughs> Crater have on top. Yep. Seems good. That was a good turn. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six mana. Pretty sure we actually just killed a Corsair and then Nahiri the Grim Monolith. I mean, I would definitely use Nahiri to destroy the Monolith. Because uh, she can't hit anything else, so. Oh wait, we can exile the Oh, we can exile the Corsair with this. Oh yeah, and we'll kill the beast with that. Yeah, I forgot that it I was like, well, it's not tapped, but then like it's exile and enchantment, so Yeah, let's for sure do that. Like if they want to spend a turn doing this nonsense, that is fine. Yep. So we know they're drawing Corsair as well, so Or not Corsair, uh, Crater Hoof. Unless they want to shuffle first. Oh, that's next turn? Alright. Yeah, so now they have Hoof in hand. Six mana and a Hoof. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Hoof and hand disease, yeah. It's, oh, I really wanted to see what I'd hit. Wow, through the breach crater hoof. Don't show me your don't show me you still had all these. -es. All these -es with diseases. I feel like Linvala's not terrible here, but double white is not great. Double black is not even that great. I feel like we have a good amount of room. We got Ultimate Price, Angrath, Lightning Helix, Murderous Rider, Oblivion Ring, Kolagon's Command, Duretti, Fire Ice, Nahiri, Vraska, Ravenous. I mean, Karn, Dragonlord, and Rakdos Return, also not bad. <laughs> I mean, I just kind of don't want to draw. I just don't want to mull to four and like. 
I mean, petition seems bad, but I don't know what actually seems better. Maybe like kitchen finks. That doesn't seem great, right? Maybe we just cut it. Just play now or just Yeah, it seems fine. You know what? This hand seems okay. We can get a bad lands with a scalding tarn. Black cleaved cliffs. What the fuck? It's a different. Do they switch decks? <laughs> What's even happening right now? Yeah, alright. I'm not too concerned with playing this on turn two. We're probably just going to go Hollow Fountain into all of Roots, sure. Search for tomorrow. Yeah, that seems okay as well. I mean, like, it's definitely putting us off. Of, but let's just play Murder Rider next turn with the Scalding Tarn. Get a Badlands, then we have all the we have double red, double black. I can keep Murderous Rider up. One, two, three, four. They're going to have six mana this turn. Well, fingers crossed, no prime time, I guess. Well, they get to hit a card. <clears throat> Maybe. Forest is fine. Ba 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 bad lands. I guess we're in a hearing here. Nope, not you. One red, white, and you. Uh, discard a card, we'll get rid of us. Reds, oh wow, <clears throat> jeez. We only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven basics, and we have one, two, three, four of them here. Oh. <sighs> Well, five, six, seven, seven mana now. Dragon Lord Tarka. Let's discard a swamp this time. Draw Goblin Dark Dwellers. Leavold. So if I want to keep these two up, we got to play Swamp. We can go blue, black, green. Leovold, keep up, murderous rider, 
I mean, we're hoping they don't just draw red, but I guess they would have... Oh, I guess they need... They don't need... This is not sneak attack. This is through the breach, so... Here comes Crater Huff. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Terastodon. Well, Nahiri is definitely one of your targets. Well, we're going to draw like three cards here, so... I mean, I guess I, I guess that's not necessarily true. Yep, it is true. <laughs> All right, let's see what we draw. Island. Prismatic Vista. Rakdos's return. Hmm. I think we lightning helix this idiot. And we get to keep three lands. So now we can actually... Rakdos has returned them. <laughs> okay. Well, that's probably pretty good. <clears throat> What's better here? You know what? Even if they Emrakul, it doesn't matter. We go to three. And we can sacrifice four lands and two creatures and they'd still be dead. So I'm pretty sure this is actually correct. Put them to six. If they Emrakul here, we go to three and keep two three threes and still kill them at six. I mean, this just forces them to have something. We have 12 power on board and a Rakdos is returned for three, so... Only one guy has to get through. Oh, man. 2-1 with the multicolor stipulation. Well, actually, Sammy, thank you so much for the, for, the, for the stipulation, man, and the support. Really appreciate it, my dude. And uh, be sure to check out my Twitch page or my YouTube description below if you want to uh, help me support the channel and uh, get your own stipulation. Uh, you can find out how to do so below. Also, check out manatraders.com, patreon.com slash franklapore. Twitch.tv slash Frank Lepore. Cool stuff Inc. every Wednesday. That includes tomorrow or like yesterday, depending on when this is up. And uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons, guys. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.